Hey there, my name's Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. I thought it'd be interesting to do a speed test G comparing the original Google Pixel with the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 3 to see what kind of progress has been made in smartphone performance over the last few years. So the original Pixel came out in 2016, Pixel 2 in 2017, and of course the Pixel 3 in 2018. This will also give you a good idea of how often maybe we should upgrade. Is really upgrade every year? Is the performance going to be such a big boost that it's worth doing it every year, every two years, or maybe even every three years? Well, without any further delay, let the testing begin. Okay, the tests are underway. On the left-hand side, we have the Pixel with the Snapdragon 821. In the middle, we have the, oh, look at this, the Pixel 3 on the right-hand side with the Snapdragon 845 has already gone into the blur test. In the middle there, we have the Pixel 2, I was about to say. Pixel 3 on the right-hand side is now into the 2048 test. Look at this, the Pixel 1 has actually hit the 2048 test before the Pixel 2. The Pixel 2 really struggled there in that blur test, it much, much slower. Pixel 3 is now off into the bloom test, as is the Pixel 1. So the Pixel 1 is actually beating the Pixel 2 at the moment. This is really quite interesting. It's not what I was expecting. The Pixel 3 blasting its way through the SQL Lite test there like a hot knife through butter. It's we're into the cube test. Oh, and look at this now. The Pixel 2 is doing much better on the SQL Lite test. It's actually now beaten and taken back the lead off the Pixel 1. It's now back into the 3D cube test. So all is well with the world. Everything is back the way we're expecting. The Pixel 1, the Pixel 2, the Pixel 3. Pixel 3 is now into the 16 thread test. The Pixel 2 is in the 2D game test, as now is the Pixel. It will be interesting to see what happens to the Pixel when it gets to the 16 thread test because, of course, it is a quad-core processor rather than an octa-core processor like we find in the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 3. Now, the Pixel 3 is into the Unity test. Remember, the Pixel 3 has the Adreno 630, so that's one generation later than the GPU that we find in the Pixel and the Pixel 2, which both have the... 500 series, the 530 in the Pixel and the 540 in the Pixel 2 and it'll be interesting to see what numbers we get out of the GPU test runs there. Pixel 3 doing very very well now with this rendering of that castle scene. The Pixel 2 a bit of stuttering there and we're still waiting for the Pixel 1 to finish that 16 thread test. It's only got four cores so it's really going to struggle with that test which is what it's doing and look at this the Pixel 3 is into the compression test. It's going to give us a final time any moment. Now there it is one minute and 49 seconds. Now the Pixel 2 is carrying on through that rendering. The Pixel is now also into the Unity test. If you look at them side by side, they seem to be doing roughly about the same. It will be interesting to see what numbers we get there at the very end. Of course, we're expecting the Pixel 2 to finish first. We're expecting the Pixel to come in last, but what will be the difference? How much progress has been made from 2016 to 2017 to 2018? And here now we see the Pixel 2 is into the compression test, so we're gonna get a final time for this uh, device in any moment. Here it is now, 2 minutes and 24 seconds, making it 35 seconds slower than the Pixel 3. Interesting, this one also tells us how much GPU time it spent, 51 seconds running that Unity test. I did some testing myself and the Pixel 3 took just 35 seconds to run that same test. So a big difference there between the Adreno 540 and 630. Now the Pixel is now into the compression test. We're gonna get a final time for that now, any moment now. Let's see what we get. Here it comes now, two minutes and 52 seconds, making it 28 seconds slower than the Pixel 2 and 63 seconds slower than the Pixel 3. And interestingly enough, the Pixel and the Pixel 2 spent almost exactly the same time running that Unity test, just 51 seconds. Okay, there it is. And so everything was as expected. The Pixel 3 was the fastest, then came the Pixel 2, then came the Pixel 1, and we've seen some quite interesting performance developments since 2016 through to 2018. And I really am looking forward to seeing what the flagship devices uh, deliver us during 2019. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I do hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And well, that's about it. I'll see you in the next one.